कम पे प्रोजेक्ट बाजार डॉट कॉम रिक्वेस्टेड प्रोजेक्ट है बॉम्ब होल अटैक डिटेक्शन अल्गोरिदम से वायरलेस नेटवर्क कोडिंग सिस्टम नाउ बी मूविंग टू दी एब्सट्रैक्ट नेटवर्क कोडिंग सिस्टम हैज बीन शोन टू बी इफेक्टिव अप्रोच टू इंप्रूव दी वायरलेस सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस हाउ वो मेनी सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज इन बाय दिस वाइज डिप्लॉयमेंट इन प्रैक्टिस बिसाइड दी वेस्ट सेडिक पोल्यूशन अटैक देयर इज अनदर सीवियर थ्रेट दैट ऑफ बॉम्ब होल अटैक व्हिच एंटी डिमांड द परफॉर्मेंस गेन ऑफ नेटवर्क कोडिंग since the underlying characteristics of network coding system are distinctly different from traditional wireless networks the impact of wormhole attack and counter measures are generally unknown in this paper we quantify wormhole devastating harmful impact on network coding system performance through experiments we first to propose a centralized algorithm to detect wormholes and show its correctness regressively For the distributed wireless network, we propose John a distributed detection algorithm against wormhole in wireless network coding system. By exploring the change of flow direction of the innovative packets caused by wormholes, we recklessly proven that John guarantees a good lower bound of successful detection rate. We perform analysis on the resistance of John against collision attack. We find that robustness depends on node density in the network. and prove a necessary condition to achieve collision resistance dan does not rely on any location information global synchronization assumptions or special hardware or middleware it is only based on the local information that can be obtained from regular network coding protocols and thus the overhead of our algorithm is tolerable experimental analysis have been verified that effectiveness and efficiency of dan next we move to the flow diagram first we sending a data by routing and packet conversion next we detect and localize a wormhole a wormhole link on our lnc system next process is wormhole attack in wireless network coding system in this using intex data mining algorithm next is a centralized algorithm to overcome wormhole attack in our lnc we propose a centralized algorithm in this algorithm a central node which gather information from all the neighbor nodes which increments the rank next is a distributed detection algorithm it is to detect wormhole attack in wireless network coding system Next is the algorithm design. Report back a direction observation result to its neighbor. Detect whether any attack has existed. Next is the collision resistance of dam. Our proposed distributed algorithm can perform with a lower bound of detection rate. Next is the attacker can be smarter. Dam requires collaboration of wormhole attackers, neighbor nodes that is monitoring attacks, sending, forwarding, and analyzing reports. Next is the lower bound of detection rate. Attacker can manipulate wormhole link more intellectually. Next is the impact of amount of charge nodes of a DAN is a graph. Next collision resistance of DAN capability of DAN in resisting collision among charge nodes tends to the process. Now we run the project. The first form is a network deployment. I am going to select the address button which will display user IP address in the text box. I am going to select a network status which contain network information that will be displayed in the text boxes. And I am going to select a signal status which contains the signal information will be displayed in the text box. Then I will move to the next form as a node card. I am going to select a view connection from the combo box. A node will be displayed in the grid view one. And I am going to select a cost. A node with cost value will be displayed in the grid view two. Then I will move to the next form as a valency approach. I am going to select a form for link. A source node, destination node, cost will be displayed in the grid view one. And I am going to select a deactivate link. A source node, destination node, cost will be displayed in the data grid view two. Then I will move to the next form as a node connection. I am going to connect a node. I am choosing wait. A node will be displayed here with x value and y value. I am going to select a source node and I am choosing source page, which will display source node with x value and y value. I am going to select a destination node and I am choosing destination range, which will display destination node with x value and y value. Then I will move to the next form. It's a data allocation. I am going to allocate the data. I am choosing node, which will display node with data. I am choosing node three. And I'm I'm going to allocate a data for I'm choosing three ten which will be displayed here. I'm going to allocate data three twenty and I'm selecting scheduled data packet data sent okay. The I'm choosing data transfer for three ten I allocate the data to three twenty which will be displayed here. Then I move to the next form. It's a centralized approach. I'm going to select a load ability. A list box will be displayed here. I'm going to select a path and then choose transmission button. The path which I selected here is will be displayed in the text box. Then I move to the next form. The selected path will be displayed here. I am going to choose a file, and I am going to select a open. 
I am going to send the file. File transfer successfully. Okay, I am going to select a get button. The message box will be displayed here. Then press yes and select a process button. The processing data and the time will be displayed here. Then I move to the next form. It's a done approach. I am going to select a transmit button. The data ready to transmit. Okay. I am going to select a find wormhole. The wormhole attack will be exist here. And I am going to analyze. Then I move to the next form. A graph will be displayed here. I am going to select a schedule. A schedule data graph will be displayed here. I am going to select a time. The time taken will be displayed in the graph too. Then I move to the next form. It's a node with x value and y value. I am going to select a first button which will display a node and x value in the graph one. And I am going to select a button two which will display node with y value in the graph two. Then I move to the next form. I am going to select a unicast which will display unicast graph and graph, uh, graph 1 and I am selecting broadcast which will display in graph 2. Exit, application exists. Thank you.